I used a 3D scanner to test the two finger rule to find out if this is really the right amount of sunscreen to apply to your face. Two finger rule. SPF isn't just determined simply by the percentage of active ingredients. For every SPF formula on the market, they tested it by burning people. And when they burn people for these tests, they apply exactly two milligrams per centimeter squared of sunscreen. This is important because if you use less sunscreen than that, you may get a fraction of the rated SPF. One study found that when they gave people sunscreen and told them to use an adequate amount, they used less than half of the amount necessary to get the rated SPF. So just telling people to use an adequate amount as they did in this study is clearly inadequate advice. So the two finger rule was popularized. So the two finger rule was popularized. Apply a line of sunscreen to your index and middle fingers and slather it on and then you're good, or so they say. There's likely a lot of variability in how much sunscreen people might apply to two fingers, so I tested it on a couple of my friends. Starting with the smallest face, the total area of Meg's flesh mask- My cheekbones look good. Including the ears, never forget the ears, was 455 centimeters squared, which would require 0.91 grams of sunscreen to achieve the rated SPF. I showed her videos of the two finger rule and following them, she applied 1.1 nine grams of sunscreen to her fingers or 30% more than she needed, which is great. Next up, I 3D scanned my own face and my entire body uh, for an upcoming video. So for that full body content in the future. My face was 572 centimeters squared requiring 1.14 grams of sunscreen. And I applied 1.11 grams onto two fingers. So my finger game is tight. Oh, I look too good. PJ's face was slightly larger than mine at 575 centimeters squared, requiring 1.15 grams of sunscreen. But PJ has those big hands, and he applied 2.065 grams of sunscreen, which is 80% more than required, excessive, but better safe than sorry. And big thanks to Shining 3D, who let me use their top-of-the-line 3D scanner for this project. They make 3D scanners at various price points for hobbyists, engineers, medical applications, and more. Check out avivacarter.com for scientific sources and links to my favorite sunscreens. In conclusion, there was significant variability between the three of us, but with the two-finger rule, we were all adequately protected. However, I have seen people apply much thinner lines than the three of us did, and that might be due to the bottle design and how much comes out. So aim to apply approximately what you saw me use or more and you're good. Two finger rule is officially a Viva. Because if I press this again, it's going to start the scan. Like I want to get a real... Okay, bye. It's my time to shine. So this one I don't think will actually be recording.